Attention Monster Market listeners, the express lane is now open. I repeat, the express lane is now open. Hey friends, welcome. It's me, Zach, for Ben and Zach's Monster Market. As some of you may know, my co-owner of the Monster Market, Benjamin Margaret, is on walkabout around the globe. And so while he's out adventuring, decided that it might be fun to do some special episodes of the Monster Market. So today I have a quick one for you. And this one actually comes from deep in Appalachia. So really, Ben should be doing this one, but I'm here to clean up the mess. So we're heading down to deep Appalachia in the United States. It's late fall and the trees are already bare. And there's dustings of snow on the dead ground. In a tiny one-room cabin lives a hermit and his three hounds named I know, you know, and Calico. The hermit is anxious. The hunting has been rotten and winter is right around the corner. Starving, he and his hounds go out once again to find food to no avail. As night approaches and they're about to give up, they encounter a strange creature covered in black fur with glowing eyes, tufted ears, almost like a bobcat, but for a long, thick tail. The creature is lightning fast, but so is the old man and his dogs. And in their pursuit, the old man manages to chop off the creature's tail before it escapes into the night. At home, the old man cleans and stews up the tail for dinner and then goes to bed. Around midnight, he's awakened by a voice outside of his cabin. Give me back my daily Frightened, the old man calls for his dogs. One of them, I know, chases the voice away from the cabin and disappears into the night, never to be seen again. Some time goes by, and the old man hears a tapping at his window. Give me back my daily pole. Once again, the old man calls for his two remaining dogs, and the dog called Yuno know, chases the voice into the night, and he's never to be seen again. The old man grabs his rifle and hides under his blankets, terrified. A few hours before dawn, he hears the same voice, only this time, it's inside his cabin. Give me back my daily bow. Predictably, the third hound, Calico, chases the voice and vanishes into the night, never to be seen again. Cowering and shaking under his blankets, it's not long before the old man hears the voice closer than ever. Give me back my daily bow. Shivering, he lifts the blanket to see the shaggy black creature with glowing eyes at the foot of his bed, a stump where its long tail once was. Overcome with fear, the old man only manages to croak out, I don't have your tailly po. I ate it. The next day, two hikers are traveling through the forest when they come across the ruins of the old man's cabin. To their bewilderment, all that's left standing is the chimney. Deep in the forest, they hear a strange, unearthly voice saying, I got my tailly back. That is the story of the tailly And there's a lot of different versions of this story. Uh, sometimes the dogs have different names. Uh, sometimes there are no dogs. It's just the man by himself. Um, and there's even more gruesome versions where rather than the cabin getting completely destroyed, 
the Taily Poe actually skins the old man, and it's uh, yeah, it can get can get pretty terrible. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini episode, this uh, express checkout line of the monster market. So until next time, I have been Zach Giolongo, and we'll see each other again for some more monster tales. Good night. Hey everyone, David Universe here, producer and audio engineer for Ben and Zach's Monster Market. On behalf of the team, thanks for listening. Music for this episode was created by Twinstrumental. If you'd like to see sketches of the creatures discussed on this episode, as well as other mystical goodness, please visit us at monstermarketpod.com, as well as Instagram and Facebook at monstermarketpod. For creature recommendations, or just to say hello, please email us at monstermarketpodcast at gmail.com. And don't forget, subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Until next time, beware, because they be monsters out there.